hey guys we are going to see about maxima minima so let's go directly into the sum so now the first sum is given as find the extreme values of the function the question is given as f of x comma y is equal to x cube plus y cube minus 3x minus 12y plus 20 so as soon as you see the sum you are going to need to find f of x and f of y f of x is nothing but differentiating the given equation with respect to x so if you differentiate the given equation with respect to x you'll be getting as 3x square minus 3 and if you differentiate this equation with respect to y it's f of y and it's nothing but 3y square and minus 12 so as soon as you found f of x and f of y you're going to found a a is nothing but f of xx that is differentiating f of x with respect to x so if you differentiate f of x with respect to x is 6x and if you differentiate with respect to y is 6y that's nothing but your b sorry your c and your b is nothing but f of x y that is your you need to differentiate your f of x as with respect to y so obviously we're getting zero so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to equate f of x to zero and f of y is equal to zero in order to get x point and y point so if i equate f of x is equal to zero and f of y is equal to zero i'll be getting x point as plus or minus one and y point as plus or minus two so from these points i can frame a vertices that is one comma two one comma minus two minus one comma two and minus one comma minus two so i can form a tabulation with these points so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to find a with respect to these points b with respect to these points and c with respect to these points finally i'm going to find delta or y that is ac minus b square now what i'm going to do is now what i'm going to do is i'm going to substitute this x value and y value in the given a b c equations so if i substitute this x value and y value in the given a b c equations i will be getting these values so for example if i substituting 1 comma 2 in a b c i will be getting in a as 6 and i will be getting c as 12 and i will also be getting a c minus b square as 72 similarly i will be getting this answers in the respective points so from this i'm going to conclude whether the given point is minimum or maximum point how i'm going to conclude is very simple if the delta point or y point that is ac minus b square is greater than zero and also my a point is also greater than zero then the found point that is one comma two is minimum point in the other ways if my delta point is greater than zero and my a point is lesser than zero and the given point or the found point will be the maximum point if my delta point is lesser than zero and the given point is either greater or lesser than zero then the given point is saddle point in order to confirm what i found here i'm going to substitute these points of x and y in the question or given equation here if i substitute i will be f getting maximum point and my minimum point here so let's go to the second value second sum so this is my second sum this is my second sum and it's nothing but a rectangular box open at the top is to have a volume of 32 cc find the dimension of the box that requires the least material for its con construction so uh, here i'm going to consider x y z as length breadth and height since you know the surface area of the rectangular is 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx and the volume of the rectangle is xyz since the volume 
value of the volume is given as 32 cc i am going to consider this as x y z is equal to 32 and i am going to take this surface area and volume in the auxiliary function so it is considered as f of capital f of x comma y comma z comma lambda is equal to x y plus 2 y z plus 2 z x plus lambda of volume volume value is taken as x y z minus 32 so now i'm going to consider the stationary points stationary points is nothing but f of x f of y and f of z i'm going to equate all the values like f of x is equal to 0 f of y is equal to 0 and f of z is equal to 0 and this is considered as extremum points so if i equate f of x is equal to 0 means i'm going to differentiate this equation with respect to f of x that is with respect to x so if i e differentiate with this equation with respect to x i will be getting y plus 2z and plus yz so now i am going to rearrange this equation with respect to lambda value some lambda value so now here in the sum it is minus lambda so i am going to equate this equation with respect to minus lambda similarly i am going to do the same procedure for f of y and f of z f of y is differentiating this equation with respect to y f of z is differentiating this equation with respect to z and again i am going to equate this as with respect to minus lambda or lambda and i am going to denote it as 1 2 3 so i have now i have got three values with respect to lambda so what i am going to do is i am going to combine and solve any two of these three values so first i am going to take 1 and 2 it is not necessary i am you should take 1 and 2 it is you can take even 1 and 3 or 2 and 3 it's up to you so for this question i'm going to take 1 and 2 so if i equate 1 and 2 i'll be getting this value since 1 by z is common on both sides i can easily cancel this one here itself so once i get cancel these things here i'll be getting 2 by y and 2 by x so if i cross multiply these things i'll be getting x is equal to y similarly i'll be getting I will be getting these answers if I equate 2 and 3. Again, if it is not necessary. You need to consider only 2 and 3. You can even consider 1 and 3. So now I have got x is equal to y and y is equal to 2z. So what I am going to do is I am going to substitute this point in the x, y, z is equal to 32. That's my volume. So if I substitute x y x is equal to y is equal to 2z that is I'm going to substitute 2z for all the variables of x and y. So if I substitute this means I'll be getting 4 x cube is equal to 32 that is x cube is equal to 32 by 4 that is 8. So z value will be 2. So again if I substitute this one here means I'll be getting x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 4. Then this is your dimension of the required box so let's move on to the next sum here the question is given as find the dimension of the rectangular box with the top of maximum capacity top open it's actually it's top open maximum capacity with the surface area of 432 square meter in the previous sum it's given as volume the volume value is given as volume volume was given and in this sum its surface area it's been given so whatever the value has been given has to be taken as g of x or it should be taken with uh, lambda value so here surface area value was given so it should be taken with a lambda value and here volume is not given and it should be taken without lambda value and here the auxiliary form can be written as f of x comma y comma z comma lambda is equal to x y z plus lambda of x y plus 2 y z plus 2 z x is equal to 42 so i'm going to take this equal to 42 in this side so it will become as minus 432 so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to consider the stationary points f of x f of y and f of z and i'm going to equate these things with respect to zero 
so again i will be getting some value with respect to 1 by lambda so it is here it is minus 1 by lambda again i will be getting f of x is equal to 0 again f of y is equal to 0 f of z is equal to 0 and the values will be uh, with respect to minus 1 by lambda so it is denoted as 1 2 3 and 4 so here i am now i'm going to equate 1 and 2 and i will be getting 1 and 2 values if i equate 1 and 2 values uh, similar values will be cancelled and uh, if I cross multiply these values I will be getting x is equal to y again if I cancel the uh, uh, like if I cancel uh, these values I will be getting y is equal to 2z so again here the value is x is equal to 2 y is equal to 2z so if I substitute this value that is x is equal to y is equal to 2z 2z in this surface area I will be getting my x, y, z values. So my z value is 6 and my x value is 12 and my y value is 12. So finally my dimension of the box is 12, 12, 6. So this is for maxima minima and if you like this video give us a like and subscribe.